Okay, that's a, that's a simple function that we can start to look at limits as you approach infinity or negative infinity. Graph that function either on your graphing calculator. I'll just graph it in here maybe. Except that I need a keyboard. Still rattling on the video. Okay, so there's that function. Michael's 1 over x. Oops. Okay, Michael's 1 over x. If you look at the coordinates um, of a point on that curve, Michael's 1 over x is just numbers that multiply to 1, pairs of numbers that multiply to 1. You can have 1, 1. You know, you can have down here uh, 2 and 0.5. 4 and 0.25. Now we've looked at we've looked at limits as you approach certain values. The limit as you approach 2 or something like that is not very interesting on here because it's just the same as a function value. Now we're going to look at limits as you approach infinity. Approaching infinity means if you keep going out to the side here. Um, so to do that, I'm going to shrink the scale down here. What's what happens if I Keep going out towards infinity here. What's happening to the what's happening to the values of the function, which are of course the y values. When you talk about the values of a function, you're talking about the y values. As x gets bigger and bigger towards infinity, what's happening with these values? Yeah, closer to zero, right? Now on here you're never going to be able to make it show infinity, but oops, especially if I do that. Come on. There we go. That's kind of crazy. I mean, for looking at it here, at some point, I mean, this says zero. It says zero because it's rounding it to two decimals. It's not really zero. It's only because to two decimal places, it's zero. But it's always going to be above that. But the limit is zero. As, you, as this gets bigger and bigger, the limit of that function is zero, even though, even though for any finite value here, it's not actually zero. Bigger and bigger number here, smaller and smaller reciprocal. That's basically what you have. So the limit of that function as you approach infinity is zero. And if you look back at the graph for similar reasons, if you go the other way, I wonder if it's going to flip there. It does, yeah. On the other side, the same thing, right? Even though it's coming from the from below the axis, it's still going to do this. Um, You can see it, negative 0.01. Yeah, it might actually say negative 0 because it's actually not 0. It's it's really, it's just rounded it off, right? So again, negative 0. So the limit as you come from the, from as you approach negative infinity is 0 as well. Now you guys have looked at functions like that and you've called it, You've called those type of situations horizontal asymptotes. This thing has a horizontal asymptote at 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 zero, at y equals zero. Get this back the way it was. Maybe it's too many undos here. Okay, when you look at the thing, this thing has a horizontal asymptote at zero, at y equals zero. That's that's the connection we need to make here. The connection is that if if the limit as you approach plus or minus infinity is a finite number, this is a finite number, right? <coughs> Compare that to if you have some other function. Some functions like, like a parabola just keep going higher and higher. So the farther you go this way, the farther up this goes, it doesn't have a finite limit. As you approach infinity, as x approaches infinity, this just keeps getting bigger. It approaches infinity. So it doesn't have a finite number as a limit. This is a finite number, right? Not infinity. It's not infinite. So this definition down here, um, the line y equals b. So in this case, y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. Okay, since the limit as x approaches plus or minus infinity 
is a finite number, as in it's not infinity. It doesn't just keep getting bigger or smaller. Okay, so that's what this definition says. Okay, the line y equals b is a horizontal asymptote of that function. If either the limit as you go towards one side is a finite number, b, or the limit as you go towards negative infinity is b. It doesn't have to be both sides. Like for this function, both sides, it levels off to zero, but really you can have a function where it only happens on one side. All right. Think of some other functions here again to compare it to. If we put in here instead, let's get rid of this. Uh, let's put in here y equals x squared. Okay, there's y equals x squared. Of course, with our scale like that, it's going to look kind of skinny. If I keep going to the to the right or left here. You know, it's not leveling off at a certain number, right? I mean, the closer we look at it here, no matter how much we do this, okay, you're flattening it out there, but uh, maybe that's too flattened out. The farther we go to the right, eventually it's just going to keep going up, no matter how flat you make it to start with here. This thing is heading towards infinity no matter what you do. It's not leveling off at a certain number. It doesn't have a finite number as a limit, so it doesn't have a horizontal asymptote. Are we okay with that? Think about one of the other functions. I can't remember whether I put it in here or not. Yeah, I did later on there. We can look at it. Um, let's look at this function first, though, before we look at the ones with trig functions. Can you graph that function on your calculator? Figure out where the horizontal asymptote is. <clears throat> just by looking at the graph. Confirming it numerically means just look at the table and make sure you see in the table how the numbers behave. We'll pause. I just put it on zoom decimal, but it, so it looks something like that. You might have it on a different window setting. It has out to the right here, it looks like it's going to level off at what value here if we trace. Yeah, it looks like it's going to level off at 1. Um, as these numbers get bigger and bigger, those are getting closer and closer to 1. And going the other way as well, if you start going to the to the left here, it has negative 1. It has two horizontal asymptotes. Even though the graph only hits that on one side, Okay, if you look at the table, you can confirm that. Let's just make the table... Start at zero and go by one. Okay, then if you look at the table, as you scroll down here, numbers are getting bigger, but as you get more and more here, they're pretty obviously leveling off at, at one. The bigger they get, okay, that's confirming something numerically, looking at the looking at the values in the table. If you went the other way, you'd see as well, they, they head towards negative one. 